another vlog. Starting this vlog on a Tuesday because in all honesty, I didn't really do anything yesterday. I just spent most of the day watching Maths Australia, which is so good by the way, you should definitely watch it. And fun fact, if you are watching it, Sid ran past Richard the other day so a bit of a fangirl moment there but it's kind of hypocritical of me because next week I'm starting my new job and even though it's obviously only two days initially so it's not gonna make a massive change to my routine this week is technically my last week of complete freedom so I wanted to make the most of it and do stuff and that didn't work out yesterday but it was also kind of miserable weather and that really makes a difference to my motivation to do things like today the weather is amazing so I'm already thinking like what can I do this afternoon maybe I'll go to the park how can I make the most of it I did go out for dinner last night with Pippa we went to Totti's Toties, I don't really know how to say it, which was so nice because today she's actually heading on a six week trip up the east coast of Australia. So I'm not gonna see her for a while, which is weird because we met in my first week of living in Sydney and we've done so much since and we've become really close friends. So she feels like a pivotal part <laughs> of my life in Sydney and now she's not gonna be here for six weeks. So the focus for this week, apart from trying to make the most of it is also apartment hunting. It does feel like we're making a little bit of progress because on Saturday we went to four viewings. I went to three, Sid went to one and we actually liked all the apartments and we haven't had that before with any of the previous viewings that we've gone to so we put an application in for all of them and hopefully we should start finding out in the next few days whether or not they've been successful. I don't have high high hopes for three of them because they were all quite busy viewings and as I've mentioned in previous vlogs we're just not the strongest applicants because we're not Australian citizens. Obviously I do have a job here now which really strengthens our application but apart from that we're lacking a lot of the paperwork but one of them I do feel like we might have a good chance with so I think I'm gonna ring that estate agent today and follow up with her because the move-in date for that apartment is also the 8th of March which is literally in three days time so I'm guessing they're wrapping things up quickly but I haven't heard anything yet. We wouldn't move in on the 8th of March because obviously we've got this apartment till the end of the month but it is unfurnished so at least it will give us a little bit of time to get some furniture in there before we moved in. Anyway, it is almost 11. I have just been to Pilates this morning and now I'm gonna head off because I've got another apartment viewing in about half an hour and hopefully this one's nice too. <laughs> to head out this evening to a paint and sip event. This was an event organised by Sydney Working Holiday Girls which is a group I think I've mentioned before but they put on all kinds of events to help girls in Sydney meet new people, make new friends and I saw this one come up a few weeks ago and immediately bought tickets because this is my dream kind of event like a glass of wine, doing 
some painting. Ever since I moved to Sydney, I've been saying like, I really want to get back into some form of art, whether that's a class or whether that's just buying some materials and doing it at home. But it's one of those things I just haven't got around to yet. So I'm really excited for tonight. At the same time though, I am nervous because I know nobody going. I was supposed to be going with Freya and potentially two of Pippa's friends, but everybody's bailed. <laughs> so it's just me going on my own now. And even though I know I will enjoy the event and I'm sure I'll meet lovely people there, the thought of going up to a big group of people with no one specifically to talk to gives me so much anxiety and dread. Like the first few minutes of these events is always the worst and is the part that always makes me nearly not go. But I know that I just need to power through, make it through those first initial awkward minutes and then it'll be fine. On the apartment front, it literally feels like I finished the job hunt and now it's just been replaced with a whole nother hunt that's just as competitive. I got rejected from two properties this afternoon. The property that I thought we had a chance of getting before I rang the estate agent, I checked the listing and it says the deposit has been taken. So <laughs> I'm guessing it's gone to somebody else. And I don't think I've heard from the last one yet, but the viewing that I went to today was stunning and I've been having a bit of back and forth with the estate agent today about that so fingers crossed and I've also got another viewing lined up for 9 30 tomorrow that I'm very hopeful about and three other viewings tomorrow so hopefully we will get somewhere at some point this week but for now let's go get a drink do some painting and hopefully make some new friends <laughs> actually signed the papers yet but we've sent our holding deposit through which basically means that they take the property off the market so they're not advertising it anymore they're not doing any viewings so it's basically ours and it's all been very fast moving we actually got offered the apartment that i went to view yesterday so we could have also had that one but i had this one booked for this morning and we thought may as well go to that one too because it had certain pros that the other one didn't even though the other one also had its pros that were different so yeah we went to the viewing this morning and loved it and decided to go with that one and basically we'd pre-applied for the one this morning so the landlord had already had a chance to look at our paperwork and we were good to go we just had to say whether or not we liked the property so we had a discussion after the viewing and sort of weighed up the two options, listed out some pros and cons and decided to go with the one that we viewed this morning. So yeah, everything is official now, I guess. Well, until we sign the papers, but basically official. It's only a six month lease because basically the owner is going away for six months. So they are going to come back and they are going to need the apartment back. So it's not like we could renew the lease or anything, but we don't really mind that. If anything, six months gives us more flexibility if we want to move anywhere else afterwards, go to a different area because this apartment is very close to where we live now. So we're in exactly the same neighborhood. It's also fully furnished, which is great. It means that we don't really have to buy any furniture. Although I'm sure I'll still want to buy a few decorations and stuff. And there's almost no overlap between the place that we're currently in and the next place. If anything, there's a gap of a few days, which is fine. I'll be able to find somewhere to stay for a few days. So it's all just worked out very well in the end. So we're gonna head out now and get ourselves a celebratory lunch because the weather's also gorgeous today. And I have no plans for the rest of the day now because I was supposed to be going to four viewings this afternoon and that's not necessary now. I've 
just realized I never really updated you guys on how paint and sip went last night. So this is my painting from the night. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. We were all painting the Sydney Opera House from a reference. The only thing is I realized it probably wasn't the best activity for me to do whilst also trying to make new friends because essentially I just got really into the zone of painting to the point where I was paying more attention to that than actually to chatting to the people around me. But everyone was so lovely there and I definitely met a few girls that I would see again in the future. So I suppose all in all, the night was a success. And now we've got a painting to put up in a new apartment. day and I have just lost all of my energy and momentum for the day. I feel like I was in the swing of things this morning. I went to Pilates, I ran some errands, I went to the bank, I had a shower, I washed my hair and now I just can't seem to get up off the sofa. I feel so tired and I've been feeling like this for a few weeks now and Sid said he saw a TikTok about solar flares or something affecting Australia so you know what I'm gonna blame it on that <laughs> but this afternoon I'm gonna head out and go workwear shopping because there's a few shops that I've been meaning to go to in Bondi and I feel like building a workwear wardrobe is the perfect excuse to go to them because as I said a few weeks ago I genuinely don't have any workwear with me in Australia it's not something I packed in my suitcase because I didn't think I would be getting a job and living here long term so I'm trying to build my wardrobe essentially up from scratch in that department there's a shop specifically that I want to go to called Dish and their clothes look very workwear appropriate so as soon as I get the energy to get up off this sofa I'm gonna head over there just had the best afternoon shopping and that's saying a lot because normally I never find in-store shopping a very enjoyable experience. I always just get hot and sweaty and frustrated and normally mirrors in shops just on it. Like I just end up hating everything on me, but I spent almost two hours this afternoon in Dish and it was just so much fun. The store was super quiet, which I think helped. And the shop assistants were just so lovely. Like they're what made the experience because they were so helpful 
helpful. They gave me so many recommendations. They were finding other sizes when sizes didn't fit. And I've come out with some bits that I absolutely love. So I thought I'd show you what I got. So my agenda, as I said earlier, was workwear. But I also wanted to get some good quality basics that I could wear in other settings as well because I don't want to have just exclusively a workwear wardrobe and a normal wardrobe like I want things to be interchangeable I want them to be versatile so with that said the first item that I got was this gorgeous top I don't know if this style is just big in Australia right now but I see all the corporate girlies in CBD wearing this kind of thing so it's kind of like that waistcoat trend but when it's on it fits so amazingly because it's also got this kind of drawstring at the back so you can really cinch it in and it's just so flattering I think this is gonna look so nice with a pair of jeans and it's something that I'd wear both to the office and also for drinks and in that kind of setting so versatile I then got a pair of white linen trousers which I'm gonna need to give a steam or an iron. They're slightly more tailored and formal looking than these ones, for example, that just have a drawstring. These ones have proper zip and also belt loops. Not see-through either because they're double lined. And also I feel like this is the perfect kind of thing to be wearing when it's hot because that was my dilemma a few weeks ago. I was like, what do I wear to an office or what do I wear out when I'm working when it's over 30 degrees? And I feel like tailored linen is probably a good answer. I then got their classic tank top and I got it in the black and also in the white. The quality of these is so nice. Like they're really nice and thick. This isn't see-through at all, even though it's white. And I really liked the shape of the neckline because it's still got that flattering scoop, but it feels very work appropriate. Like it doesn't dip down really low or anything like that. And finally, I just got this black belt because I really loved the buckle on it. It really caught my attention because it's this gorgeous shape and I really liked the gold. So yeah, that is my little dish haul. I will definitely be back in that shop. There are a few more things that I really liked that I tried on, but I was like, I can't buy it all today. You know, I've got to be kind of reasonable here. And also then it gives me an excuse to go back because I I thoroughly enjoyed my experience. <laughs>